Hey group, a couple weeks ago I showed you how to make skulls with expanding foam in a hard plastic mold. Now I'm going to show you how to make a latex mold of a skull to make plaster skulls and skull fragments. So, ready when you are. Ready? No? How about now? No, not yet. yet. Now? Okay, let's go! Warning, Dr. Creepy gives no guarantees on the information provided. He claim no responsibility for any accidents or injuries. If you attempt any of these projects, do so at your own risk. Remember, be safe. <laughs> Okay, this is a pretty simple project. Here's what you're gonna need. Plastic skull. Cheese claw. Cheap crappy paintbrush. Molding latex. Anchoring cement. And plaster of Paris. All right, since this is such an easy project, I'm not gonna sit here and do the entire thing for you. I'm just gonna kind of walk you through the step by step. First, you take your skull and you take your latex. It can be liquid latex, molding latex, rubber latex, they call it a ton of different things. You can find it at most hobby stores, most arts and crafts stores. If not, you can find it online. Take your cheap paintbrush, dip it in your latex, and coat your entire skull with it. Get in all the cracks and crevices, all the holes, under the jaw, around the teeth. Get a good coat that's going to pick up all your detail. Once you're done with that, while your latex is still wet or tacky, take your cheesecloth. Cheesecloth you can find at Walmart or any fabric store. It's really cheap. I'd get a yard of it to start with because this stuff com comes in handy for a lot of different Halloween projects. Now, you just take your cheesecloth and you probably have to cut it into pieces. Push it onto your wet latex. Push it into the eyes, into the mouth. Just get it all over the skull. This is going to help hold your mold together. Once that's done, let it dry up. Then repeat that same process. Those two steps you're going to repeat over and over. You want to get about five, six, seven, eight coats on there to make it fairly thick. When you're done, you're going to end up with something like this. This is my latex skull mold. I made this six years ago and it, it held it's held up pretty well I use it for a lot of things um, you can't use the expanding foam in this unless you make a mother mold because the expanding foam will just deform the skull but it is good for plaster of Paris now you're probably gonna have to cut the mold up the back to get it off the skull now plaster of Paris you can get that almost anywhere Walmart carries it uh, home improvement stores carry it, arts and crafts stores carry it, and it's dirt cheap. The problem with Plaster of Paris is it's heavy, and it can become a storage problem after a while. But they do make sturdy skulls, and you can make a just a ton of these. Literally a ton, they're heavy. For real cheap, next to nothing. If you're going to go with plaster, and you're going to use it outside then you're going to want to coat it with a good coat of latex exterior paint before you do any of your detail painting in it because the rainwater will just destroy plaster of Paris. Now I'm going to show you how to make the fragments. A few years ago I was looking around online and this guy had a great idea. Skull fragments. He took his latex mold and filled it up partially with plaster of Paris let it dry and he ended up with pieces that look like this really cool you just lay them around in your yard you know they look like they're coming partially out of the ground plaster Paris like I said really cheap easy to use stuff there's mixing ratios on the bag easy to follow instructions for my skull fragments I actually used what's called anchoring cement um, this stuff is about twelve dollars for a bucket this big and you can make whole lot of these skull fragments and all I did was follow the instructions mixed it up just mix it with water pour it in 
to your skull mold about halfway or quarter or you know get creative you can just make an eye piece or just a jaw piece and while you're anchoring cement while your plaster of Paris is still wet you can put a picture hook in the back of this and once that's dry you can hang it on your walls but this stuff it's they're really cool really cheap really easy props to make there you go that's a really cheap really easy project and that's all I got for today. So until next time, this is Dr. Creepy saying stay twisted and sleep with the lights on.